Hey you, like, subscribe, share. I need you to tap, tap, tap in. Hold up. Tap, tap, tap in. Yeah. Hey you, like, subscribe, share. I need you to tap, tap, tap in. Hold up. Tap, tap, tap in. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. <laughs> kind of obsessed with that song, Lil' Key, I'm not gonna lie. You guys, today I'm here to talk about what happened to me today. There is still greatness happening in 2020. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, so today, I don't have a car. A lot of people don't know that. But I went and I walked, probably a 20 minute walk, down to a place called Donut Delight. They have them all over Connecticut. And this is a coffee colada, AKA the equivalent to like a frap at Starbucks. And I didn't have a car. So I went in, go to the lobby and with my mask. And they were like, oh, go around back. Cause we're closed, but you can go through the drive-thru. I'm like, I don't have a car, but okay. And like, they realized that cause I went through the front. So I went around the drive-thru and I got to the drive-thru. Someone in front of me was taking their order. They, they drove up. I went next and I'm like, hello. And then they're like, this didn't respond to me at all. No response, no nothing. I'm just like, he just told me to go through the drive-thru. Like, and I think he knew I didn't have a car because I didn't, I would have went through the drive-thru. That was the case. So I'm just like, maybe like, whatever. So the guy in front of me, he kind of like waited a little bit. Like he drove up and not all the way up. And he goes, did the guy answer you? I was like, no, but he told me to come back here. So I don't understand why he's not answering. But I'm like, whatever, I'll just go to Starbucks. And he goes, no, 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 I'll order for you from the window. So just like, come around. So I went around and the guy ended up just ordering for me because the guy wanted to get my order. Um, after he told me he would already, so I was a little bit confused. But like, um, he took, the guy took my order for me. Um, I got a coffee frap, which is a coffee colada, which is a quick coffee smoothie, which is the equivalent of a coffee colada. And he ended up paying for it. He said, just pay it forward. There's also a girl behind me who did the same exact thing. So it was me, it was a car in front of me, me, then another car, then a girl behind that car who also walked into the door, who also was on foot. And they heard the same thing, go around the drive-thru because the lobby was closed. So in my head, I'm wondering, why is it telling people to go through the, to the drive-thru and not taking people's orders? I, I try to make us look dumb, trying to look stupid. Oh no, I didn't really care. You know, it's not that big of a deal. I shouldn't be drinking sweets anyway, but I like them. I thought about it all day. I really wanted it. And I'm just saying this. In 2020, God's still blessing and doing amazing things. And in the day, the guy paid for my drink. And I got two donuts from the guy who was supposed to take my order from the employee. And it looks delicious. Let me... Yeah, it looks delicious. But I got two free donuts. I think he felt bad because I felt like he... Wasn't gonna take my order at all. But all in all, I was able to bless somebody else because somebody blessed me today. So the girl behind me that was after the car behind me, I paid for hers. I waited and I paid for hers. I'm not saying this to say that I did this. I'm saying to say that goodness is contagious. Goodness is contagious. Positivity is contagious. Paying it forward, or, excuse me, paying it forward really does make a difference. Like I felt good that someone even thought about me enough to even care. You know, that I didn't get my order taken care of, even though I was promised that, you know? People are going through things. 2020 is 2020. I don't even care to even explain that. I don't need to explain that. But all in all, God's still doing amazing things. He's using people to spread light and awareness because there's still good in the world, you guys. There's good all around us. Look at me. There is greatness in you. That little bit of positivity that that guy shared today trickled onto me as they to pass down to somebody else. She was all kind of nervous. Like, are you sure? Like, I feel so bad. Like, you have to pay for me. No, someone just paid for me. And it's a good thing to do. It feels good and it's free. Not really, it's not really free. It's free to make a choice to help. Pass it on, pay it forward. Do something great for somebody else. Yeah, even if they did something nice to you, do something nice for them or for somebody else. Don't do it because you feel like you owe somebody do because it's the right thing to do and it just feels good it feels good doing good do good you guys it's a whole mood god is doing amazing things in 2020 and right now i want to read my devotional i didn't read my devotional this morning 
I'm gonna read it for you guys right now. I got my devotional book, God is with you every day, and we're gonna read it. What's today's date? I ain't gonna tell y'all because I'm not sure when I'm posting this. I probably posting this the same day. So let's assume it's today's date, whatever day you're watching this, or whatever day this video is posted. If that timestamp is on the end of this video, you will be able to see. So let's see what the devotional is saying and what God is saying. All right, let me get there. We are in September. We're in September. Good gosh. Man. All right. Here we go. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, 10. And the devotional reads, Jesus taught us to pray with reverence when he modeled for us, hallowed be your name. It was Matthew 6, 9. This phrase is a petition, not a proclamation. A request, not an announcement. Be hallowed, Lord. Do whatever it takes to be holy in my life. Take your rightful place on the throne. Exalt yourself, magnify yourself, glorify yourself. You be Lord and I'll be quiet. Be still and know that I am God. This is Psalm 4, 6, 10. This verse contains a command with a promise. The command, be still. Cover your mouth, bend your knees. The promise, you will know what I am. God, the vessel of faith, journeys on soft waters. Belief rides on the wings of waiting. In the midst of your daily storms, in this storm that has swept over the country and even the entire world, make it a point to be still and set your sight on him. Let God be God. Let him bathe in, let him bathe you in his glory so that the both so that both your breath and your troubles are sucked from your soul. Be still, be quiet, be open, be willing. Take a moment to be still and know that he is God. Be still and allow God to be hallowed in your life. Yo. God is saying something right now. I didn't even, you guys, I didn't even open this book until I just opened it just now. I promise you. And literally, this is a book by Max Ducado. Give him his credit. You guys, this is literally what we were talking about. The effect of the country. Every, you know, God knows. He knows. Doesn't matter if you don't speak up. He knows. But seek him, be still in him, and acknowledge him in all your ways. Man. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. That was my talk today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more thing. All y'all who did it, tap, tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap. Like, subscribe, share, you guys. See you guys soon. Goodbye. Yeah.